Hello friends, today we are going to study about Euclid's division lemma or algorithm. Given positive integers a and b, there exists a unique integer q and r satisfying a is equal to bq plus r, where r is greater than or equal to 0 or less than b. You will not understand anything here. They had said that two integers are there. Let me give one example. If I want to divide number 38 by 5, I'm having two numbers. This is dividend, this is division. If I'm going to divide it, these are the two numbers. Look here, they said given positive integers a and b, means these are the two integers. If I divide them, I'm dividing it. 5, 7, 35, and the remainder will be 3. So, what happened? Given positive integers a and b, there are two numbers, divisor and dividend. If I will divide it, there exist unique integers q and r satisfying. Means these are q means quotient, r means remainder. If I divide two numbers, I will get quotient and a reminder this is q this is r this is a and b what will be r they said r is equal to or greater than 0 or r is less than b r is less than b so if i want to write this like in the form of a is equal to bq plus r i can write 38 is equal to 5 into 7 plus 3 bq you can see this 5 7 35 plus 3 30 so this is the relation this is euclid's division algorithm they had given a name to this a this is a b q plus r a means dividend sorry, B divisor Q quotient R remainder. Now what about remainder? This is one more important thing that I want to tell you. Remainder. If I am dividing any number with 5, what can be the possible remainders? Why they, they had written that R is uh, equal to or greater than 0 and less than B means I am dividing with 5 so the remainder possible remainder can be 0 1 2 3 or 4 means less than 5 you can see if 5 is there again we can divide so these are the possible remainders if I want to write this I can write remainder 0 1 2 3 4 means less than B 5 is less less than B that's less than 5 and these are the possible remainders so they had written it is less equal to or greater than 0 and less than b. This is Euclid's division algorithm. This is something related with class 10th chapter 1 and it is also I had explained in my previous lesson about rational and irrational numbers. Actually rational and irrational numbers are in 9th standard and it is the base for this. 10th standard first chapter. So I am explaining this 10th standard first thing and again I am going to explain this chapter one more uh, or many concept of this chapter in my next video. So please subscribe to my channel. I am going to explain all the chapters one by one. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel so I will bring more such videos for you. Thank you.